Hi there, and welcome to the Waters and Ackland Furniture Workshop and School YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to showcase some of the amazing pieces of furniture that have been made on this year's Designer Maker course. That's the 2017-18 Designer Maker course, in which we get people from all kinds of backgrounds come to our workshop to learn how to both design and make furniture at a really high level. And it really is worth remembering that many of these students have never done any furniture making before. They come from all kinds of backgrounds, all different levels of experience, but often they have never even picked up a chisel before they arrive. So to create such stunning pieces in such a short amount of time is testament to the talent that they bring, combined with the teaching that we offer here at the school. And I want to use this video really to highlight some of that talent, to showcase some of those amazing pieces. And let's start, let's start by looking at Mark's coffee table. Now Mark is one of those students who when he, when he arrived he, he wasn't bringing any woodworking experience at all. No experience as a designer maker, he'd actually come from a military background and so it was a completely fresh start. So this piece is an incredible piece for somebody who's only ever made one self-design project before that. This was the, his second self-design project on the course. And if you look at some of the features that we can see on the screen they are really quite amazing. A good example would be the sunburst pattern that Mark's created on the surface of the coffee table. Uh, even more special is the fact that the sunburst radiates from a point which is the front left of the cabinet and it radiates from that point all along the top and also down the side of the coffee table. That took a hell of a lot of skill and it really is a beautiful feature of the coffee table. Another really successful feature of this coffee table is the way that the drawer front wraps around the side of the cabinet. This is best seen with the shot that shows you the side and shows you the drawer opening and closing. It's quite a unique feature that I've not seen before. Uh, it, was, it was Mark's concept, working that through with us in our design meetings. And yeah, it's a really successful element in the table. I think what I really like about this coffee table is that Mark took a real clear point of inspiration for his design. It's something that we teach in the furniture school. It's something that we really encourage our students to do. Seek inspiration, not necessarily from a past piece of furniture, but from somewhere else in the world, something that inspires them. And he did that from, he was inspired by a piece of architecture and that really shows in the final piece. Another piece that really drew reference from a particular point of inspiration was this drinks cabinet made by designer maker student Pete Craven. Pete came to one of the initial design meeting in relation, in relation to this piece, which is his second self-designed piece, with the point of inspiration being the way certain patterns, when they move across each other, create certain visual effects. And that was the kind of germ of the idea that became this piece of furniture. From there, Pete carried out a series of tests to prove whether his concept was going to work. He mocked up a series of uh, sliding doors with different patterns in the panel work to see that when they slide across each other, whether the expected visual effect would actually happen. He also played with the backlighting concepts and to see whether the, the backlighting would work in a cabin that may be filled with bottles and other items. So after proving that the concept was going to work, it was time to really, really obsess about the details and this is something that we really take seriously in the school. It's really pushing our students to extract the very best out of every project by looking in detail at all the details and playing with them until they, they look just as good as they can be. It's a really important part of what we do at the school and I think Pete was really successful with this piece. Another really amazing piece made this year was this desk made by designer maker student Mark Eden. Now Mark is a hobbyist woodworker, he's been a hobbyist woodworker for a long time so he came to the school with a level of skill. What he really wanted was to refine that skill, to really take it to the next level and I think this piece is a real demonstration of how somebody can really up their game as a woodworker and as a designer. Uh, some of the, the joinery is absolutely beautiful, all of it is precision made, it's, it's really made a, a professional standard and to think that this is the first self-design project uh, in Mark's year here in the school. We're really excited about what he's going to make uh, for his next project in the school and then absolutely af after he's finished with us, we're really excited to see what he makes in the future. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed that little roundup of some of the beautiful pieces that have been made here in the school. Thanks for taking a look at our YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. We want to make more content. Give us some encouragement, hit subscribe and we'll bring you some more videos in the future, some finished pieces and some work in progress stuff as well. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.